Well, there you go. Receiver mounted on the side there. Capacitor right there with the servos. And the gas tank. And then back in there, you can see mounted up and down. So I got the receiver mounted sideways. Is the um, satellite receiver. And that's all there is to the installation. The wire here. That'll be for the ailerons and the wing. And then the battery and the motor rest hookup. But that's all of it. So let's get this bottom wing on. Now. Put this extension on here. It's just... Remember, I still haven't decided where the battery's going to go. So, we'll have to make that decision yet. That'll be coming soon here. We're getting so close. This way. Okay. Wings attached. I think I just half a quarter turn tighter. Okay. Now pick it up and turn it over. Those in place. Oh no. Okay, that's good. These are all here, these parts. I'm using nylon on the bottom here, but it could be metal. Nylon will hold it. Screw it on here. Okay. And one on. I'm gonna go way over here to the other side. Because of the adjustments that have to be made on this, you know, it'd really be nice if once I put it together, these wings could stay on, but I don't think so. Okay, we got that much of it together. I think what I'm going to do is I'll do a power up test here. Turn the radio on. And let's just set the battery down here. Plug it in. And we're about. So, I see that we need to do some adjusting. And we go through here 
And go to the setup list. Let's see. Elevator. I have to reverse. And ailerons. Man. You know, sometimes it's hard to tell. Oh, got that by. That's the wrong way. Ailerons. Now oh, that's the right way. Okay. The rudder is also backwards. Wow. The rudder. Reverse it. Okay, now. Let's get out of here. And go back up to the main menu and put sub trims. Now my ailerons. Okay, let's see. I can't see the other side really. That one? Maybe level two? I believe so, eh? Yep. Okay, that's just nice. I think I did my, yes I did, I put my other one there, okay, centered on my, Shift to dial it in the sub trim. We'll make that right there. Okay. The sub trim my aileron in perfect. Now we'll go down here to the rudder. trim into it to straighten it out okay and the elevator looks just a hair high so by going through here and using the sub trims it allows me to have more movement with my regular trims right because now everything should be centered still Yes, all my trims are centered, but I've also used trim to center the air control surfaces. They're up and down, and left and right. Ah, I've got to cut them at my rudder. And no motor yet. Okay, well, I'm okay with no motor yet because this here four cell setup. This big monster brush this motor here. I think it's gonna get pretty windy in here. So now I want to cut.
connect, I guess. The yellow runs and a right back. Well, I made those little connections. All I had to do was line up the yellow run. Okay, so. Oh, well, look at the bottom. That works good, doesn't it? I think I put some explanations on my elevator. Okay, so everything is working and working very good. I hope you can see that. Okay, maybe we should come closer. Huh? Come closer. Maybe we can see the um, top elevator or top aileron working. The elevator back there. Let's see, can I? Oh. The ladder. Okay, see? The bottom. The other ones on both sides work. Which is good. You know, that's how it's supposed to be. So, as far as all that goes, huh. If I had a place for the battery right now, we could go fly, but. I'm going to do one thing here. I'm going to turn it off. We're going to disconnect the propeller. Okay, remember you guys. Always, always, always. This is a big propeller, right? There's a big... A 13 inch wooden prop on here. Or is it 12 6? Sorry. But I can run up to 13, I think. So it really hurt. Now I'm going to plug the motor in here and I'm going to turn my radio back on, plug my battery in, and we're going to test the motor. Of course, without the propeller. Oh, that sounds pretty good, eh? <coughs> Holy crap, that's noisy. <coughs> okay. Look, I'm not too much without any power on it. But I believe it's going the wrong way. Yes, it is. So, we take and we reverse any two wires. Now, <coughs> turning the right way. Okay, so, wow, I got a brake on somehow oh, there. But there, we got that figured out, and it's going the right direction. So, I'll unplug the battery, turn the radio off. Put the propeller back on. Okay. Okay, now comes a dangerous test, right? Turn that on.
plug the battery in. Okay, so now let's put this thing in a little bit of a different angle. I'm going to have to use full throttle very much. This is a nut so far, so I want to get a watt meter on here and do some testing. But there, I've got a psycho amount of power, you guys. So we'll have to see how that works. That's looking really good. <laughs> 